it's Annie cooking in the trailer park and I'm here today with um, a new recipe and it's going to be um, a kobacha squash soup and this was recommended by a friend named Jenny and she said it's so delicious now I'm taking this recipe from Taste of Home, but I'm also adding some other things that I feel needs a little bit more flavor. So please come cook with me. We'll get started. Louie, are you gonna help? We'll get started. Follow me. All right, Lou. There we go. Okay. Now I wanna show you, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick because I was just holding Lou. Okay. This is a kobacha squash. Now, I've already put that in the microwave to about 13 minutes to soften it up, okay? Now, come over here, Kenny. Over here is what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up and I'm roasting it in my toaster oven. I'll come back and I'm going to show you what that looks like, all right? All right, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to use some parchment paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on here. Okay. Now, I told you that I already put this in the microwave so it's nice and soft. Okay. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to cut it. Okay. So now that I'm cutting it up, what you want to do is take out the seeds. Now, if you're really into pumpkin seeds, uh, you can take these seeds out, scoop it, scoop out the uh, flesh, or the, I mean, uh, the, um, uh, the seeds. Yeah, the seeds. And, and the stringy stuff. You want to get rid of the stringy stuff also. Because that's, you know, yuck. Okay, so I'm just scooping this out. Oh, and I forgot to tell, oh, you know what? We're going to have to really come back because I forgot to turn on the oven. You have to put it on at 400. Uh, let's see, 400, oh, let's see, 400. And preheat it because you're going to roast it. Okay, so I am going to be back, and um, and I'll show you how we do this uh, this whole process. Now you see these seeds. You can you can make these like roast them in pumpkin seeds with salt if you want. I'm not personally going to do that, but what I'm doing is I'm going to cut up my kobacha. Okay. My, my squash that I put in the microwave for however 13 minutes so that it got really soft. You don't have to cook it like this. Then you're going to take olive oil and you're kind of going to pour it like all over uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you're going to cover you want to cover this in olive oil so that when it bakes, um, you want to caramelize it. That's what we're looking, that's the word I was looking for, caramelizing. And then you take a little salt and just run it over every little thing like that. And you're using kosher salt, right? Yeah. I am using kosher salt, so just, you know, salt it a little bit, not a big deal, you know. And then turn it over so that it kind of lays on its side or bottom because you want that to brown and caramelize. This is, did I say roasted? This is going to be roasted kabacha, kobacha, whatever. And it's going to be a soup, right? That's yeah, it's going to be a soup, and then I'll come back and show everybody so what... When you put it in the toaster oven, Andy, how long does it go on for? Uh... Well, probably about 30 minutes. You have to watch it. Don't burn it because, as you can see, I kind of left this in too long. And what we're going to do is we're, 
we're going to uh the skin is not going to go into the no skin. it's you have to scoop the inside and then just get rid of the skin yeah and get rid of but the, the skin main thing is that you caramelize it, right? correct and yeah so this i did yesterday it's a little okay so anyway just to go back this is roasted so i'm just roasting the butternut the nut butternut kobacha squash and we'll be back okay all right i'm so glad you're staying with me on this kobacha squash soup so i told you about the kobacha squash and i'm roasting it so i did roast it it, it is beautiful it's gorgeous and I want to show you the other side of this where it caramelizes and it really did a beautiful job. I did it at 400 for almost 20 minutes. This toaster oven's pretty hot. So it 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 this was a little bit too long. I did it 40 so minutes. What was the function that you used on the uh, roasting? Roasting. Roast. Go ahead. Okay. Roast. That's a toaster Yeah. And the, the instructions say 40, 45 minutes, but I didn't find that. I found 20 minutes and it's just fine. And I'm going to let it cool down. As you can see, it's brown. And I'm going to get the rest of the ingredients together, which was a green apple, which I peeled and I'm chopping celery, onion, and I'm using a shallot because I don't have enough onion. Onion. I'm going to put ginger, vegetable broth, cumin, thyme, and this really cute little uh, coriander that Kenny found for me. I've never seen it this little. And then coconut milk, water, and some garlic. So that must be my timer. So anyway, what I want to do is I'm going to take this and i'm going to scoop it out you don't want any of the skin in so when you when you scoop make sure you just have the squash part you don't want the you know you don't want the skin because when you puree it it's not going to be cut break down i don't think i don't know but uh, anyway this is um it's a little bit of a mess but it's fun and that's what you want to have is some fun while you cook. So when we get back, I'm going to show you how I'm going to fry all the, not fry, I'm going to heat everything up. Saute. Oh, yes, yeah, saute. Thank you. And then I'm going to come back and we'll put all this together and I have to get out the blender. All right, stay with me. Okay, so I think, are we back? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're back, and now I want you to look at here and see if, uh, wait, I should probably do a wooden spoon, not the knife. Um, okay, so here we are just sauteing the onions, the shallots, the apples, and the celery. So once I start, uh, it starts getting, uh, whoa, a little brown. Uh, I'm going to add a little garlic. You don't want to burn the garlic, right? All right. Hi, I'm back now. All right. So I was talking about the ginger and this little uh, grater. So I'm going to grate this. Yeah, the recipe calls for like two inch, uh, like a two inch piece. Yeah. So that's pretty close um yeah and i it was i i kept it in the freezer because uh it goes bad otherwise i think but anyway okay so here is the ginger all right we'll finish putting that in then i want to put in some water whoa And then I think a half a cup, it wasn't a full cup, was it? It's at least a cup. It might be a couple. Why don't you do... We cannot, we oh, no, it was two cups. I think it was two cups. Yeah. So now I'm just going to put this. And that's, that's vegetable broth, right? Yes, 
Yes, because I'm doing a vegetarian thing. Okay, then you kind of have to let that boil down. I forgot to put uh, garlic. Okay, a teaspoon of garlic. Which is good because it, no, it's not going to burn. It right, it won't burn. And now burn. I want a... Uh, I'm going to do cumin, uh, uh, a, uh, a, teaspoon. a teaspoon of cumin, and thyme, teaspoon. yeah, a heaping teaspoon, okay. I guess, I don't know. Okay, so we're just, you know, I've never done this what before. About that other that okay, with? yeah, uh, no, coriander, yeah. okay, which I put in a little container because it came in. Okay, that's, that's, let's see what that looks like. It's ground coriander. Okay. All right. I just hope this turns out. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so anyway, um, all right, so that's that. And now we're putting in, you put in your squash. Oh, boy. Boy, that, that's, okay, we're close. Oh, boy. All right. So, anyway, um, all right, so we're good on that. And now. Hey, one last thing. Yeah. I the recipe called for milk, but you were going to use coconut milk, right? <gasps> oh, yeah. Don't forget the coconut milk. Shoot. Okay, so we'll put some coconut milk in. Oh, whoa. Wow. Okay. Oh, Ooh. Crazy, well, I'm not sure. Yeah, it'll 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 break down. Oh, jeez. Are you supposed to put the coke? Yeah, okay. Uh, whoa. Okay, I'll put the rest in the blender. Okay. I guess I don't. Let's know. get that. We'll get everything hot. Yeah, and then we'll boil it down. It's supposed to boil down so that we could put it in the blender. Just to puree it, right? Yeah, just to puree it. We'll back. Back. <laughs> hey Annie, what's going on now? Okay, so now I put everything in this um, skillet, and now we're going to transfer it to our um, to our blender. Blender. Are you sure you got this, Annie? Yeah, I will. Okay. Okay. So now. Ooh, look at that. That's yeah. pretty nice. Well, it's cooked down for eight. It, it says eight to ten minutes. This has been ten minutes. And I threw everything in here. And it's going to. Uh, well, skin. Yeah. I think skin. it was a little skin. Get rid of that. Yes, we don't want skin in the, uh, you know, kobacha skin. Not... We got skin on the game, but not that kind. Of... Okay, whatever. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to fill my blender. With the soup. Now, I don't want to do, you know, I don't want to. Uh, take the soup all the way up because you know they say small batches. Okay, I'd so go, I'd go a little bit more than that. Let's go a little bit more. Uh, yeah, come on, and there'll be less trips, less blender trips. Well, this isn't a. That's supposed to be a small batch. That's good. Let's do that. Okay, so I've got Don't that. All right, and on and blend okay well i think it's good uh, we'll come back and let's see how it looks what you got annie <laughs> All right, we're we're kind of experimenting here, but this is what we have. 
and it it's very nice and thick i would say hey guess what i tasted it and I'd say it's really really good okay so basically you could put in more vegetable and coconut oil or even a little or water, broth or water or water and you, you said something about adding some lime or lemon right Did what you talk about when we eat it about eating adding lime no no lime juice lime juice okay. yeah there's some lime juice here uh lime juice aha uh -huh. so you put you so what you're going to do is when you eat it well when we eat it we'll put a little lime juice on to splash yeah. it okay we're going to do gonna... another segment but we did find out that on the blender we use the auto pulse yeah we use pulse and then we use the uh the auto this, pulse. number one was snow and that was the slowest speed anyway it's looking good Annie. We'll yeah it was all over everything but That's the way it goes from yeah America okay all right all right our dinner is done we uh roasted the kabacha squash i had everything in the pot it's already done this is what we have left we put it in the blender and we showed you did we show you how to blend yeah we did yeah I did okay so now we're going to sit down and have our dinner and here is our soup we put papitas on top roasted, roasted that was kenny's idea i forgot about that and then i'm going to put a little lime juice on and see how that works out but i want to thank um i want to thank my cousins harvey and rose for suggesting me getting the um mic because i hope everybody hears me really well okay so now i'm going to end my cooking segment with Annie cooking in the trailer park with a dong, a gong, I meant. Thanks, Annie. All right, bye.